Today, I'm making my great-grandmother's peanut butter cookies. This warm peanut butter treat is both simple and delicious, so let's get started. For this recipe, you will need a cup of butter softened, a cup of peanut butter, two cups of sugar, two large eggs, three cups of flour, and a teaspoon of vanilla. Preheat your oven to 325 degrees, get all the large mixing bowl, and cream the butter and the peanut butter together. Add the sugar one cup at a time and continue to blend. Add the eggs one at a time and blend well. Now add your flour and the vanilla and blend until well mixed. The batter will be thick. Roll the batter into little two inch balls and place them on the baking sheet. Now take a fork and press them into a cookie shape. You can crosshatch them to make them look more attractive. Place them in the oven and bake until golden brown. About 12 to 20 minutes depending on your oven. Allow the cookies to cool before plating. I like to sprinkle a little granulated sugar on top. Well, here's the time for the best part, the taste test. Let's see if I remember these as good as my dad does. Oh my God. Absolutely fabulous. I wouldn't change a thing. They taste like home. They really do. Fantastic. Now, I will say that this um, batch made enough for probably the whole neighborhood. <laughs> so my dad must have really liked peanut you know, butter cookies. But anyway, this was uh, from my great grandmother who did use a wood stove and I watched some videos on that. It's uh, not as easy as it looks, but I, I have a feeling my dad was the wood chopper for the crew because that, that old man can still chop wood better than me or any of my brothers. Um, she was an interesting woman. Her uh, maiden name was Quanalbaum, and I did some research on that, and she was related to a, an admiral during the Revolutionary War. So she was from German people. Uh, Palantines, I believe they called them. I would look that up. But uh, anyway, she really made great food. And I, I vaguely remember her, but I do remember her. I remember our, my great grandfather very well, um, which, yes, of course, was his wife. And uh, she was an amazing cook. And uh, my mother actually. Um, used to go over there and just rave about her cooking and she always did it on that wood stove. It's not like her, her son didn't own a, an appliance store. <laughs> he would have given her a stove. As a matter of fact, I think he gave her a stove, an electric stove, but she just couldn't get used to it. So it must be an acquired skill that um, you know you have to really develop and she had developed it to a, a science, um, you know, to keep the temperatures correct in, in her stove. 
like I say, I don't remember that much about it. Uh, God forbid the people that had to haul it out of her house. I'm sure it weighed about a ton or two. But anyway, uh, that that's the uh, this this these are the cookies of my great grandmother, actual great grandmother who I knew. I knew all of my grandparents, great grandparents on on both sides of my family on my father's. Well, not my mother's, but on my father's side. Um, both both sets on that side. So I say that's kind of unique, uh, to say the very least. But anyway, uh, give these cookies a try. I think you'll like them as much as I did and as much as my father seemed to when he was a young child. And uh, something easy to do, whip up, uh, you know, the, the video was a lot harder to make than the cookies were, believe me. <laughs> so anyway, uh, if you like this uh, recipe, you know, and recipes similar to this, please click subscribe on my channel so you'll get all the latest and greatest, and I'll have plenty more of these. Uh, the next one, I believe, is going to be my grandmother's, uh, on my father's side, smothered steak. I, I'm bound and determined to try and cook something by every one of my female relatives, or male relatives, actually, my father's pimento cheese <laughs> that you'll really like. Uh, so subscribe and, you know, keep up with this stuff. This is something we have to we have to preserve as part of our heritage. Food is the heritage of, of all peoples. And uh, if you uh, like this recipe or you liked this video, please push the like button. And if you didn't like this video and you didn't like this recipe, well, push the like button anyway. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And you guys have a good one. Until then, this is Dr. J. Over and out.